has got to be fake or that this, ain't, this isn't real. How is it possible that he's going to be deported? Alfredo Figueroa was in disbelief when he learned that a number of veterans continue to be deported. So he decided to help by gathering basic needs and sending them to Tijuana, Mexico, where some now reside. His fellow veterans placed a bin at the Cal Veterans Services Center at Hearst Gym for donations. Because a lot of these veterans come here, they don't have any support, they don't have any family, they literally don't have anything with them. When they get deported, they literally bring just themselves and the shirt on their back. These veterans at Cal are on a mission. They say that those deported joined the armed forces as permanent residents. With the lack of support after being honorably discharged, some may get into trouble with the law. A 2011 study found that 4% of those enlisted in active duty military service are non-citizens. The liberal magazine Slate reports that by enlisting, the citizenship process speeds up. Naturalization can happen then in just three years or less if during wartime. However, that's not the case for everyone. There's like a lot of variation both between branches and within branches with how different like commanders at different levels of the unit will prioritize the like naturalization process. In 2017, the LA Times reports that advocates for immigrants say there may be thousands of deported veterans across the globe. They made a decision to serve a country um, and possibly die for that country, which even a lot of American citizens aren't willing to make that sacrifice. Um, so I think we can do more for them than deport them. Those this group have been in touch with in Mexico live in a three-story apartment. They hope to regularly send out supplies. In the past four years, they say the home base has seen close to 40 veterans. Their personal database indicates that there are at least 350 deported veterans around the world. I feel that it's our responsibility as veterans, you know, as uh, you know, this group and other groups and other universities or just veterans in general to start advocating. At a larger level, these veterans ask for more transparency in the government. These deportations, which ones are taking it least seriously? And I think the government can be a little more transparent with kind of at least revealing some of those statistics that they know and we don't because they don't want to honor the FOIA requests. They say the ideal goal is to have everyone come home, but they recognize most of them won't. People are willing, able, and have served honorably. There is an obligation on our part you know, to take care of them after they have served. Community members have already started dropping off their items to the Cal Veterans Services Center, such as toothbrushes and canned goods. Their next mission is to the Dominican Republic this summer. Reporting for Cal TV News, I'm Thomas Manglonia.